Russian spy whale was shot dead, say animal rights groups. Norwegian animal rights groups are demanding a criminal investigation after claiming there is compelling evidence a spy whale was shot dead. The body of Valdemir, a beluga whale suspected of being trained as a Russian spy, was found floating at Rusavika Bay in southern Norway on Saturday. Two conservation groups, One Whale and NOAA, are seeking a criminal investigation alleging there is compelling evidence that the whale was killed by gunshot wounds. One Whale wrote in an Instagram post, Several veterinarians, biologists, and ballistics experts have reviewed evidence of Valdemir's injuries, determining that the whale's death was the result of a criminal act. Regina Haug, founder of One Whale, an organization which campaigned to protect Valdemir, claimed to have seen a bullet wound. I have been with Valdemir for the past five years and know him very well. When I saw his body, I immediately knew he had been killed by gunshots. I even saw a bullet lodged in his body, she said in a statement on Instagram. The groups shared photos which appeared to show streaks of blood and holes in Valdemir's carcass. However, officials told that a definitive assessment could take up to three weeks and the beluga whale is undergoing a post-mortem. Another conservation group, Marine Mind, urged people to refrain from speculation until the cause of death is established by those responsible for the investigation, temporary assumptions will not be useful for anything other than publicity. Ms. Haug told that Valdemir was believed to be 15 years old, relatively young given that beluga whales can live 60 to 70 years in the wild. Valdemir was first spotted near the Norwegian island of Ingoia in April 2019. He was wearing a harness and what appeared to be a mount for a small camera. One of the buckles had equipment St. Petersburg written on it. He was given the name Valdemir, combining the Norwegian word for whale Val and Russian President Putin's first name Vladimir. Marine Mind believes he entered Norway by crossing over from Russian waters, where it is presumed he was held in captivity and trained for military purposes. Both One Whale and Noah had been trying to relocate the whale to safer waters in northern Norway, where he could have joined other belugas.